All right, let's walk through an inner join. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the films database. And what I want to do is I want to find uh, members that uh, watched a particular movie. So we're just going to kind of work through something here. This is similar to uh, the slide that I show for module three. All right, so we're going to do a select uh, films dot. Uh, let's get the. Um, what do I want to use? I don't want to use fill. Let's do member member details dot last name and uh, member details dot first name and let's do films dot film name. So what I want to do, and again, I'm just, I'm just kind of making something up. What I want to do is I want to know the last name and first name um, and what movie they watched. So the challenge with this is, we can see this is two different tables. Um, the film name came from the films table. And uh, the member details, the first name and last name came from member details. So how do I connect those two? Well, what I got to do is I got to go over here to Blackboard. And remember under, let's move this over so you can see it, under software, scripts and documents, let me make this a little bigger for you too, probably make it a little easier, scripts and documentation, and we scroll way down here, somewhere is documentation for our databases, and you can see that for each one there's this documentation. So I click on the Films Database PDF, which gives me this, um, and there's a whole lot of information in there. But right now I'm just going to worry about this right here. So I know that I need the uh, member details, right, first name and last name, and I know I need the film name. Now, the trick with doing inner joins is you can only connect, for this class anyway, you can only connect following the lines, all right? There are other things you can do, but we're not going to get into that. Um, so I can't just do member details associated to films because they're not connected directly with a line. So I actually have to go from member details to favorite category, from favorite category to categories, from categories to films. That's the only way I can get the last name and first name and what movie they watched. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to see if I can make this, uh, pull this out and make it a little smaller so I can see my different categories here while I'm typing my stuff in. Let's see if we can do this. Move this over this way. And uh, hopefully I can kind of show you the steps. All right, so I can see my my films. There we go. I can see everything I need to see now. And uh, so what we've got here is I want member details, last name, first name. So that's that table, last name, first name. And films, film name, film over here. And so I've got to select both of those tables, but again, the only way I can get from one table to the other is to follow the lines. So here's what we do. We start with the first table. What's my first table? Well, it's going to be one end or the other. Um, usually I start with whichever one I've got first up here. So I'm going to say from member details dot, and what am I going to say? Oops, sorry, from member details. And then I'm going to say enter join. And then what am I joining to? I'm going from member details to fave category. So member details to fave category. Dot. And what am I connecting on? Okay, well, look at my line here. And sometimes you have to look because they don't always match up. Um, but most of the times the names will be the same. Not always. So I can see I've got a member ID here. The line connects to member ID there. So I'm going to join favorite category on member details dot mem ID equals fave category dot mem ID. So what I'm saying is join member details to favorite category. Join this table to this table. Join them on this line. Member details member ID equals favorite category members ID. Join them on this line. And this is the simplest kind of inner join. You can use contextual stuff. You can say greater than, less than, all kinds of other kinds of joins. But for now, this is the safest one. This is the easy one we're going to do. So then what do I got to join? Well, now that I'm in favorite category, I got to get to categories. So I'm going to do the next, same thing again. I've got to have an inner join. My next one is the categories. So I'm going to join from fave category to categories. I think of this as daisy chaining. On, and what am I connecting this time? Well, this line here seems to go from cat ID to cat ID. So I'm going to join fave 
save category dot cat ID equals categories dot cat ID. All right, so now I've joined from here cat ID to here category ID. Now I got to get from categories to films. So I'm going to do the same thing. I got to have another inner join. Inner join. And now I'm going from categories to films. So from categories here to films, films on. And what am I connecting on this time? Uh, category ID to category ID. So cool. All right. So from categories dot cat ID to equals films dot cat ID. Now, if I just use this much of a query, I should see, assuming I've typed everything right, I should see all of the member names and each film they looked at. Now, that may or may not be the best report, depending on what I'm trying to get to, but that's all the information is now connected. I can see who watched what movie. Take a look and see. I'm going to go ahead and copy this just in case something goes wrong. All right, there we go. So I got this nice big report here and I can see every person and uh, exactly what movies they've watched. But the only way I could do that is to go through all four of those tables to get there. There's no shortcuts in this class for that. Now, if I want to start breaking this down and getting specific information from it, I could certainly start adding uh, where and that kind of thing. But I'll do that in another video.